Star Wars actor Mark Hamill has to be one of the most deranged people out there, uh, at least on X. He seems to be one of the most angry, bitter old people out there, and I don't understand it. Uh, Maybe it's because he doesn't get along with his family. Maybe it's because his career has been long dead. He can't do much at all these days, Uh, and uh, it's just made him kind of cantankerous. But he has said some disgusting things in the wake of the assassination attempt on Donald Trump, much like many other celebrities. Uh, And he's taken a lot of flack for it, taken a big L here, uh, which we are going to cover and uh, mock him for his dumb takes. Uh, (laughs) Let's get into the news, my friends. My name is John Delarose. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I'm a big science fiction guy, including a science fiction writer, and I would love for you to check out my trilogy, The Arishan War, which is on Amazon right now. This is a three-book series so far with uh, wonderful, wonderful space combat. You're going to really enjoy this. Uh, it's in the description below. It's on ebook, print, and audio. And thank you guys so much for the heavy support of our art and alternatives to Star Wars, as they've shown that they really just hate you <laughs> over uh, at uh, any uh, incarnation of the Star Wars camp. So Mark Hamill uh, immediately contradicted himself, making light of the assassination by President Donald Trump on Saturday, mocking the size of the bandage covering his wound. It's ridiculous. Uh, The assassination attempt, of course, was at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, if you missed it. I think everybody's talking about that nonstop, so you shouldn't have. Uh, The bullet failed to kill President Trump, piercing his ear. Now, uh, what we know about this is that this is really just a matter of round variation. Uh, (laughs) It was close enough that with that style of rifle, uh, another bullet would have probably hit true. And so we were lucky he was only able to get off what he did. Uh, because uh, Trump is alive by by a miracle. It's it's 100% a miracle. He's got God protecting him uh, at this juncture, uh, and and we're we're better off for it as a country. We really are. It did end up killing uh, one of his supporters who protected his wife and children by uh, throwing his body in front of them as a complete hero. And we covered uh, the talk about uh, you know destiny saying nasty stuff about that earlier today. But uh, this is where that situation went. And so immediately, uh, Hamill is echoing the administration talking points. Uh, Joe Biden's gone out and given a couple speeches which (laughs) were nonsensical about unity and, uh, you know, no room for political violence and all that uh, after he's been, you know, out there calling uh, for, uh, you know, the threat to democracy and, and, and all this stuff for years. Uh, throwing this kind of rhetoric along with the mainstream media at Donald Trump. Now, Mark Hamill's been one of those people who has had some of the worst rhetoric out there already. Uh, If you look at his Twitter feed, you would never know that he was an actor in Star Wars. You would never know uh, that he was involved in like one of the most iconic cultural things uh, out there because all he does is rant about Trump, nothing else. It's like Stephen King, the author, uh, and what he does out there is just go crazy instead of writing books these days. So Mark Hamill said, originally, there's no place for violence in politics ever. Okay, that sounds nice. I'm grateful the former president is okay. That sounds good. That said, (laughs) you know, you should have just ended it there, Mark, first off. Because, you know, whenever you do but or that said, uh, you you end up making things pretty cringe and and contradicting yourself within your don't post. It gets worse, though. This is not the one we're here to cover today. He said, never forget that this is the guy who promised the NRA he would do nothing on gun control and told victims of shootings to just get over it. Uh, so uh, immediately just like angry, uh, as he usually is, right? Uh, and so uh, then Trump made a, an appearance last night at the RNC. This is pretty badass. If you guys think him standing up and, and saying fight, fight, fight right away was pretty badass. Think about this. You're in the hospital uh, after you took a gunshot wound at a, as a 78-year-old man, right? And uh, you get out and you fly to Milwaukee the next day. Uh, and, and just two days after it happens, you go out into a public arena with, with thousands of people inside after you, after you got hit uh, in a big public spot like that. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's some cojones, my friends. Uh, that is, uh, that is uh, real alpha energy right there. And he looked a little tired, uh, as, as he should. A uh, little shell shocked. I mean, uh, he went through hell. I mean, the guy got shot at, and and people are not treating this like they understand what that means. This is not like a game. It's not a movie. 
uh, where the stormtroopers fire all their stuff and like don't hit things and everybody's fine and everybody moves on to the next scene. In real life, like getting a bullet like <laughs> knocking your ear off is insane. I mean that some people could never recover just from that. You, you could get mentally shattered uh, just from that. The PTSD involved could be huge, but it just shows how strong Donald Trump is. And so Mark Hamill goes out here to mock him, of course, and say nasty things. This is what he does. First appearance of ludicrously oversized ear bandage, apparently not needed prior to tonight. (laughs) Um, And so this is ridiculous, too. So he has his bandage on there because you got to bandage things up, Mark. That's kind of how things work. You take some antibiotics for infections. You, uh, You dress the wound. Uh, And that's what you do. And if you have to go out in public like this, you have to do something. Now, one thing, he has to be able to hear, so that's why it only covers a certain portion there, right? Uh, (laughs) Second, like, you have to be able to be in a spot where it's not going to, like, bother you, so you're, like, constantly touching it and things like that. So it's done the way it needed to be done for his health, Mark. Uh, He is protecting his own health, and you are a sick MF. Now, you think Mark would have a little more sympathy for wounds and things like that because he had his career derailed by, if you guys don't remember this, a motorcycle accident that really deformed his face. Uh, And they did everything they could in Return of the Jedi to, like, try to hide that. Uh, But that really hurt young Mark Hamill's career and really hurt him, of course. Uh, So he knows exactly what it's like and how how painful it is to recover from difficult wounds. Uh, And so you would, again, would think he'd have a little more sympathy. But these people just hate, hate, hate. They are just angry bigots and i you know i hate using that word but honestly that's that's what the definition of the word uh is in this juncture so of course uh he was also tweeting with fear for our democracy 24 hours ago so he's already he's already amping up the rhetoric again the exact same thing uh warning that uh, all these people will be trump's supreme court nominees and wreck the democracy uh if something isn't quote done about him so what are we supposed to do mark uh, if it's not political violence i mean you know, these people are so unhinged with what they say. So uh, 32,000 comments already on this. And let's let's read some of them in the quote tweets. Uh, <laughs> the quartering says, did you hit send tweet and then look around for people to applause? Yes, they, that's exactly how these people act when they virtue signal. Uh, Dis- Disparu says, how big a bandage do you think is acceptable for getting shot in the head? Wow. D-Day Cobra from Geeks and Gamers says, uh, you're a sad and pathetic person. And uh, imagine seeing someone set, get shot, says Smash JT, nearly die, and then tweet this. What the F is wrong with you now? Uh, <laughs> that umbrella guy puts a uh, Empire Strikes Back image in and says, mm-hmm. meanwhile, here's Mark Hamill if he got a paperclip. Like, like I said uh, earlier, like, I mean, he was in a terrible, terrible motorcycle accident. Uh, he knows it ripped up his face. This is this is something that happened. He, he knows how it is, so he should know better. That's that's why this is so weird and so obviously hateful uh, at this point. So uh, Hypnotic uh, says, uh, next you'll say I was only pretending to be retarded. I'm going to be on Hypnotic's uh, live stream show on Saturday, so please make sure to uh, check that out. Great channel over there. Uh, and uh, lots of lots of just angry quiets. Mark, did you ever visit Epstein Island? Now, I'm surprised I don't see Gary Nerdrotic on here. Maybe his quote, uh, Maybe his tweet got buried because there's just so many. I'm sure he did say something. But uh, Gary likes to come in and, and point out that Mark Hamill called for the abortion of his own granddaughter. Maybe that's another portion of why he's so bitter at this point. Uh, now let's go to the quote tweets on this because uh, I'm sure that uh, they're just as fun as some of those right there. Uh, Mark, zoom in on the vapor trail. Uh, look at Trump's hat. Uh, look at the sign below. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, Anthony Cumia says, uh, hey, uh, who could have imagined in 1977 as I left the theater absolutely amazed after seeing Star Wars that 47 years later, the hero of that movie would turn out to be a tremendous effing a-hole. Wow. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's it, the thing is it ruins the mystique of Star Wars. It ruins the entire property to see a guy like this because so many people identify him as Luke Skywalker. Now, you look at, like, uh, by contrast, like William Shatner from Star Trek. This is kind of an aside. If you look at his Twitter, he's just funny and jovial and and uh, a man of the people, whereas Mark is just like this angry political monster. 
And I, I got to wonder if he's getting paid by the administration to do this stuff. I mean, because after all, he went up a few months ago, if you if you forgot this already, and uh, and went to a press conference and called Joe Biden Joe B. Juan Kenobi. I mean, my God, you, you want to talk about cringe. Uh, I hadn't heard anything that bad since Pokemon Go to the polls uh, from the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2016. But here we are. Mark Hamill is destroying his legacy, destroying Star Wars legacy, uh, and the Acolyte season finale (laughs) hasn't even hit yet i am not looking forward to that one my friends oh my god are you going to even be watching tonight leave a comment and let me know what you think about that and this hit the like and subscribe button join us here and make sure to check out my sci-fi trilogy on amazon in the description below appreciate you for being here